Hello everyone, and welcome to Wednesday. You've made it halfway through the week, and good news, May is finally here. I think May could just be my favorite month of the year. Do you have a favorite month? If you do, I'd encourage you to share that with your family and your friends. Talk about that and tell them why it's your favorite month. Maybe even leave a comment here in the video of your favorite month and why. But May is definitely my favorite month, and I've often wondered, why do I love May so much? I mean, I'm not in school anymore, and I used to love May because it was the end of school. But I think I love May because it is simply a month of anticipation. School is almost over. Summer is almost here. Vacations are normally happening. And warmer weather is on the way. I actually love the month of anticipating summer more than actually summer, which is weird, I know. Anticipation, it's, it's a much needed emotion. It's nice to have something to look forward to in life. Well, lately with this coronavirus, it's been hard to find something to look forward to. Everything keeps getting canceled. Normally, I'd be looking forward to seeing my mother this weekend for Mother's Day. That's not going to happen, which is tough. But friends, I still believe. I believe that we'll get past this mess. I believe that we can make it past all of this. We can get through this together. So I find myself at least anticipating the end of this crazy world of social distancing. And as I read the Bible, I anticipate the end of this messed up world to begin with. Won't it be nice when this world of pain and sorrow is over? And the entire Bible speaks about that, but this verse in particular really spoke to me today. James chapter 1, verse 12, says, Blessed is the one who preserves under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. The Lord has given us something to anticipate, something to look forward to, the crown of life, eternal life. Friends, let's not give up. With God's help, let's remain steadfast. What we're doing is working. So let's continue what we're doing to battle this coronavirus. Let's stand together and anticipate better days ahead. I want to remind you that Hope Awakens meetings are continuing with John Bradshaw and It Is Written. That's going to be happening again tonight at 6 p.m. You can join us at hopeawakens.com. Those meetings happen also Friday nights, Saturday nights, Tuesday nights, and of course, Wednesday nights. If you'd like to join us for prayer, we have our prayer conference call that happens on Thursday nights at 6.30 p.m. All you got to do is just call in at 617-829-6816. Six, eight, one, six. You can share praises, things you're excited about that are going well in your life, and prayer requests as well. And we can pray together and encourage one another. This coming Saturday, we'll have our worship service at 11 and our Sabbath school at 10 a.m. Those will be online. You can join us for that. I'm excited to share a message called The Strongest Human this coming Saturday. Hope you'll join me. And you can watch on Piedmont Park's YouTube channel or on our Facebook page as well. And also on Saturday, to honor Mother's Day, the women's ministries team has made handmade gifts for all the moms and grandmothers and just the ladies with a mother's heart out there. You can drive by this Saturday, May 9th, from 2 until 4 p.m. to pick up a gift for that mom that you love. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, take care of each other, and God bless.